In recent years, Star Wars has undergone a bit of a revamp, especially in the novel and comic book department in thanks to the launch of the High Republic era. This era is set hundreds of years before the current canonical films, in a time when the Jedi were at their best, when the galaxy was starting to come together. So far, there have been several novels and comics telling a connected, expanding story that quite frankly is some of the best ever told in Star Wars. It's crazy. Now, we already know we're getting a TV show called Star Wars The Acolyte on Disney+, Plus, which is set towards the end of the High Republic. But it's inevitable that we someday see the characters of the High Republic novels and comics make their way onto screens, whether it's via animation or in live action. So the big question is, who will play them? Now, before I get into my casting, there are dozens of High Republic characters, too many to talk about in detail. I'd be here all day trying to do that. So I'm focusing in on the major ones and omitting those that I couldn't find a suitable casting for. Let's get to it then. Eva Chris blonde-haired main character of the High Republic, arguably. Definitely one of the main characters of the comic books, definitely the main character of the first novel in the High Republic. I've got two possible choices here. When I read the books and Avar Chris shows up, I picture Jodie Whittaker, best known for Doctor Who at this point. I think she would be great, maybe she would have to tweak her voice a bit, maybe not though. She does have an accent, that's what I'm getting at there. The other choice, if you want a bigger name, a bigger star, arguably, is Brie Larson. Brie Larson I think is perfectly fine, I think she could do a really good job of this if I'd not necessarily be outstanding in the role. Bel Zephyr is a young Jedi Padawan who goes around with this dog-like alien creature. Who would play him? Well you've got to go on the younger side, I would say Caleb McLaughlin. Caleb McLaughlin best known for Stranger Things. He's a good actor, he's a decent actor, he's looking for that big breakout role outside of Stranger Things though. This could be it. Cormac Vitus, this is a very troubled Jedi, someone who struggles with the dark side of the force you could see and other issues with like romance and relationships and so on and he's very unsure of himself. When I read the books, who do I picture in my head? I picture Ode Fair. Now Ode Fair, perhaps a little on the older side to play this character now, so maybe go Naveen Andrews, best known for Lost. I think both of these characters, both of these actors could do a really good job with this character. I don't think they're necessarily perfect fitting for the roles, but like I said, I do imagine a young Ode Fair, Ode Fair from The Mummy, for example, is who I imagined in this role. But that was, what, 20 years ago? 25 years ago? Yeah. Elzar Man. This is another troubled Jedi, a Jedi who is venturing very close to the dark side, who was making a lot of errors and mistakes without going into spoilers. Elzar Man, I don't really picture anyone in this role. I look at the concept art and I kind of put a voice to it. I've got John Hamm's voice in mind for most of the time, I'll be honest. John Hamm would not be suitable for this role though. So who do I think would suit this role on a visual level? This is a tough one. The only one I've got, Aiden Turner. So Aiden Turner, best known on TV for Poldark, but he's also in the Hobbit movies. Not quite what I would imagine Elzar Man is, but I've got nothing better right now. Leo Giassi, he's like the Han Solo of this time period in a way. He's a, a roguish guy, he's a guy who's got a bit of cockiness to him, a bit of sarcasm to him. He's rough around the edges, he's a pilot, a smuggler kind of character. Who have I got playing this? I've got Sam Corlett. Sam Corlett, not a huge name by any means. You probably know him best for Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or Vikings Valhalla. Now, this is who I picture in the role when I see Leo Giassi. Looking at the concept art though, I think he's meant to be an older character, so maybe Sam Corlett's a little on the younger side. Age him up. Yeah, I think he would be pretty good. He's got that like smug persona on there. He can act cool. I would say look at his performance in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. He's got that Leo Giassi personality down to a T, I would say. Lorna D, one of the major villains of the first phase of the High Republic. She's a tweelet, blue skin, lots of scars, got a few like piercings and stuff like that. She's a cool, badass character. So who would you play? Her? I would say, I've got two choices, Sophia Butella and Zoe Kravitz. So I think both of those could do a really good job, obviously it would have to be a lot of prosthetics and makeup so on and so forth. I think Zoe Kravitz would hit it out the park, Sophia Butella I think would do a really good job on a physical level. 
Either of those would be great, I think. Moshi and Ro, this is the big bad, the main villain of the High Republic, so this casting is crucial. He's a very soft-spoken, very calm, cool, collected character. At least when he's out in public. When he's in smaller areas with only a few people around, he lets his feelings be known a bit more. I've got two choices here, Killian Murphy and Tom Hiddleston. Again, I don't think either of these are perfect for this role. Tom Hiddleston. Don't know why I put Tom Hiddleston down there to be honest. I don't think he's actually right for this at all to be honest now that I'm thinking about it. Killian Murphy though I think could do something special with this. I think he could do the voice, he could do the mannerisms, the emotion. I think he's got that ability. So yeah, Killian Murphy would be great. Ram Jomaran. This is a young Jedi who's very interested in tech and gadgets much more than any other Jedi is. And, or, he's not even that interested in being a Jedi for the most part it seems. Who do I picture when I see this character in my head? I picture Jacob Batalon, best known for the Spider-Man movies. He plays Ned in those movies. I think he would be absolutely perfect for this role. I've also got Julian Dennison written down here. Julian Dennison, best known for the Deadpool movies, the second one in particular. And he's also in that other Taika Waititi movie, which I'm forgetting off the top of my head right now. Hunt for the Wilder People. Very good actor as well. He could do a good job. Maybe he's getting on the older side though. Reef Silas. This is arguably one of the main characters, if not the main character. He's definitely the main character in some of the novels. He's a Jedi Padawan who's about to become a Jedi Knight or even beyond that even. I've only got one person down for this role and that is David Mazouz. David Mazouz, not a huge name by any means, best known for playing Bruce Wayne on Batman in Gotham. I think he would suit the part really well. At this point though, perhaps he is getting too old, perhaps he's getting too tall and stuff. I don't know, I haven't seen him in a while to be honest. So I think on a visual level, if you look at him in Gotham, that's Reef Silas. That's who I picture as Reef Silas. Could do a really good job if age isn't a factor. Skia. This is a Jedi who is a Trandoshan, very lizard-like character. So a lot of makeup, a lot of prospects. You're probably not going to be able to tell who's playing them under all of that. I've got David Harbour down for this. David Harbour can touch into that dark side, he can touch into that aggressive side, which is very important for the character of Skia. It's a character who is troubled, who is tempted by the dark side, who has got a lot of other things going on mentally and physically. David Harbour, I think, could do a really good job of capturing that, and there's a big bulky physicality to this character as well, which David Harbour would bring to it as well. Stellan Geos. When I picture Stellan Geos, I picture Ben Barnes, and Michael Huisman, or Huisman, not sure how to pronounce that second name. I think either of these actors could do a brilliant job in this role. Ben Barnes usually plays like villainous roles more than heroes. I think this could be a nice change of pace for him. And Michael Huisman, I think, would be very good in this role. I think he'd be perfect almost. Vanestra Rowe. Only got one person down for this. Not even sure if I'm going to pronounce this name right, so bear with me. Zochitl Gomez. So Sajito Gomez, I believe at the top of my head, is best known for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. She's a young, upcoming actor, hasn't done a huge deal of stuff. I think she would do a really good job here. This could be a really breakout role for her if Multiverse of Madness isn't that already. Lena So, the Chancellor of the Republic. So Lena So is a, a recurring role, a supporting role. We know various things about her. She's got a family, she's got these two, like, wolf-like creatures that follow her everywhere. I've got Michelle Yeoh down for this. Maybe she is on the older side at this point, but hell, Michelle Yeoh's a legend. Give it to her anyway, she'd nail it. Ty Yorick is a former Jedi who's now basically going about with the lightsabers, purple lightsaber. She's a very cool, very badass character who doesn't really follow any rules. She's a bit of a mercenary in certain regards. I've got Tessa Thompson down for this role. I think she could nail that. Maybe it's a bit repetitious of her role in Thor Ragnarok though. Maybe a bit less drunk. So yeah, that's who I've got there. Final one I'm talking about today is Nan. Nan is one of the Nihil. She's one of the recurring bad guys, particularly when it comes to Reef Silas. I've got only one character down in this role and that's Ella Purnell. A young actor, on the rise. She's best known for Yellow Jackets playing younger characters. She does a lot of voice acting these days as well. I think she could do justice to this role. Let me know who you would cast in these various roles and some of the other characters of the High Republic. I don't think it's as easy as it seems. 
Some of these I think I've absolutely nailed, others not so much. And there are many others here which I haven't touched upon like I've already said. But let me know your thoughts in the comments and feedback down below. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore Grant Burton. Until next time though, thanks for watching.